Do you want to create an awesome packaging like this? You can create it in 5 easy simple steps. Step 1. We have to create a branding logo. Copy paste all the content on your artboard. I'm using the font Barlow for the logo. I have provided the logo in the description, you can download it from there. I'm using this cute vegetable icon. And there we go, we're done with the logo. Let's get to the next step. So the step 2 is to create an attractive background. I'm using a wall texture for the background. Step 3. Use high quality images on the background so it will look more eye catchy. I'm all the sins that you can't confess. I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed. A part of me wish that we never met. Act like we never got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house. Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride. And we said things that were cheesy, but we meant them. There were feelings, and now you deny it. You're in love with the idea of me, but you're not in my reality. You can create a realistic shadow from the layer style panel. And then you can align the shadow properly by pressing Ctrl T with the transform effect. I'm all the sins that you can't confess. I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed. A part of me wish that we never met. But you act like we never got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house. Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride. And we said things that were cheesy, but we meant them. There were feelings, and now you deny it. You're in love. Use the solid color layer to make the shadow more realistic. Back to time. I've been busy running my mouth dry, speaking lines. Then quick export it as a PNG so that you can import it in Illustrator. Align 
align the spoon properly in your artboard. Then create a circle with ellipse tool. and align them properly. Step 4. Add elements to your design. Then with the brush tool create some strokes. Mm -hmm. 
then apply drop shadow on the main text to make it more visible. Apply the drop shadow on all the PNGs. Step 5. Place your design on the 3D markup so that you can give a wonderful presentation to your client. And boom, there you go. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more editing tips. Easy and simple, right? Share it with your friends.